The east and west branches of the St. Joseph River, often referred to as the St. Joe and known to the Miami as Cochisasipi, originates in Hillsdale County, Michigan, before rejoining to form the St. Joe in Williams County, Ohio. From that point, the river flows 86 miles through northwest Ohio and northeast Indiana before joining the St. Mary's River at Fort Wayne to form the Maumee River. During the days of the Wabash and Erie Canal, the St. Joe played the important role of providing flowing water to the canal. In fact, the water entered the canal at its highest point, thereby earning the city the nickname the Summit City, a name still used to this day. A dam near present-day Shoke Park diverted water to a canal called a feeder canal, so-called because it fed water to the main transportation canal. This feeder canal followed a route to present-day West Main Street, where you'll find a historical marker that notes the location of the groundbreaking for the canal in 1832. Portions of the old feeder canal remain today alongside the River Greenway Path, which runs from Shoke Park through the soccer fields of Hefner Park, just west of Purdue University, Fort Wayne. Today, the St. Joseph and another dam play an important role in the life of the city of Fort Wayne. The St. Joe Dam at Johnny Appleseed holds back a reservoir which is the source for the city's water treatment facility. The river's water is pumped to the Fort Wayne Water Filtration Plant, located on the north shore of the confluence of the St. Joe and St. Mary's River, where it is turned into the clean drinking water that our city relies upon. When the plant opened in 1933, it could process as much as 24 million gallons of fresh water a day. Expansions to the facility over the years has raised the capacity to a whopping 72 million gallons a day. An additional dam near the village of Cedarville creates a secondary reservoir which can release water downriver when needed. A third reservoir, Hirschtown Reservoir, was built in 1969 as an emergency source for city water. Reservoir levels are maintained by pumping water from the St. Joe into the reservoir. If needed, water can be released back into the river to make its way to the filtration plant. Clearly, we can thank the St. Joe for keeping us supplied with safe drinking water.